Having looked at assets, it's now natural that we have a look at their opposite liabilities. Is there anything that the company is obliged to pay or things that the company is liable for? Again, like assets, these can be broken down into different categories, each with their own function. However, if the total assets of the company are less than the total liabilities of the company, then the company is technically insolvent, so the value of everything they own is less than the amount they have to pay to other people and companies. Now, depending on your location, this may result in bankruptcy, insolvency, or administration. For ease of calculation, these liabilities are divided into two. Short-term liabilities, which is anything that's due to be paid in the next 12 months, and long-term liabilities, which is anything not needed to be paid back inside a year. Some of the following liabilities fall into both categories, others just into one. It should be fairly obvious which one's which, so I won't stress with each one. Now the first liability comes in the form of loans. These may be borrowed from banks, finance companies, or even individuals. The money needed to repay these loans is easily defined amount, and their payment terms, which again, are easily defined. Any loan or bond that a company takes out should be clear on who the money is borrowed from, how soon the money needs to be paid back, and what interest is required on the loan. In addition to this, the company should also know what penalties are involved if they fail to make the scheduled repayments. Missing repayments should be avoided as it can make getting further loans both more difficult and also key, more expensive. Next liability is in the form of what's known as trade liabilities. These are for goods and services that you've received from other companies but not yet paid for. These normally need to be settled within 30 days from the receipt of the goods or services. However, some long-term contracts or arrangements may allow for extended periods of credit. But it's not normally recommended since it may detrimentally affect that company's cash flow and in turn mean that you're not actually getting best value for money for the services that are being provided. Then you have staff costs. These can be subdivided into salaries payable and wages payable for the time worked by employees that has yet to be paid for by the company. Then you have also pensions, which can significantly factor into long-term planning, especially in regard to the staffing levels of a particular company. Another payment that companies need to make is tax. This isn't just tax on any profits that companies earn, but also can be things like value-added tax, local business rates, capital gains tax, and many, many more. Ensuring that the correct amounts of tax is paid, to avoid any surcharges and penalties, and also balancing tax credits, allowances and deferments are all claimed and the difference between a company thriving and going bankrupt. The final really awkward part comes down to assessing contingent liabilities or provisions. These are payments that the company might have to pay for things which have gone wrong. The lack of certainty that comes with these provisions that can be having a great deal of impact on a financial statement. The provision of the liability is overstated the company may look in a very bad shape. However, if it's understated, the company can suddenly be faced with a large bill that it's unable to pay. Types of provisions for these may be things like legal cases where the company may be liable to pay costs or damages, or bad debts where companies owed money but may be unable to get payment due to things like bankruptcy. Now, if the th company thinks that the chance of paying a particular contingent liability is remote, for example, the legal case against the company is weak, it doesn't need to be directly accounted. Instead, it should be included as notes at the end so that someone reading the accounts isn't misled to any possible risk that might occur, even if it's either improbable or impossible to estimate the amount of the risk. Those are liabilities on the company's accounts.